Good morning, YouTube. This is Miriam, and it is Sunday, December the 22nd, 2019. And it is time for me to weigh myself again. Okay. And it is 216 pounds or 216.2 pounds. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. So I'm happy with that. And I'm going to do it again because why not? Why not? And this is pretty good because um, I even like ate in the wee hours of the morning. I try not to do that, but I had some toast and maybe an apple, whatever, in the wee hours of the morning. And yeah, and I had some yogurt. I just, I just felt very hungry. Uh, 216, let me get out of the way, 216.2 pounds. 216.2 I would think that would be brighter. I'm doing my best here. <laughs> 216.2, 216.4 pounds. Excellent. Uh, I'm really happy with that, but that is not the only thing that I'm happy with. Oh, yes, I have other news. Hand, hand. And I am going to share some really good news. I have really, really good news. And I put it in my pocket so I wouldn't forget. But I am so happy. And you're going to find out when I'm pulling out money. That never hurts. Um, I wrote it down. Because I wanted to get it right. And I'm, I hear it. I'm so happy. Okay. When I started, my blood pressure was dangerously high. I believe I have a mukbang where I talk about it. I don't know if I give you the actual reading of what the, number, what the um, numbers were for my blood pressure. But I think it was when I had said my blood pressure was in stroke territory. And I'll have it in the description. Uh, box and probably my comments of uh, the link, you know, and the name. But uh, my highest that I could find of my blood pressure, which was months ago, maybe more than a year ago, I'm not sure, was 197 over 84. 197 over 84. That is dangerously high. That is knocking on death's door high. It was very frightening. And of course my doctor did their due diligence, talking sense into me and prescribing um, medication. Here's the thing. I would have problems with some of the medication. Uh, they would cause other problems that affected things that were going on with me. Finally, we had one that I tried that seemed to be pretty good as far as everything, every other precaution. I began taking it. I began to feel actually feel better. But I started to have a weird side effect that I really didn't dig. So I had to discontinue. I was very sad. And I was, I was becoming so tearful. I was crying. I was praying to God. Please, why is this happening? What can I do? I don't know what to do. I was crying because I didn't want to die. And 197 over 84, the prognosis isn't very good within a year. Like grave. Think of the word grave. That bad. Or near to the grave. Like stroke, aneurysm, heart attack. Might not kill you, but you're in bad shape. At the very least. So... I was overwhelmed and I have other complications in my life besides responsibilities and I was very grieved. So I prayed, asked for wisdom, went to good websites and uh, I began changing my diet. I began moving around. I began removing caffeine, which was tea in my life and removing sugar as much as possible and being careful about what I ate and moving around and controlling my temper because I got a bad temper <laughs> and 
I'm going to do another uh, video where I talk to you specifically what I did. And my blood pressure began to progressively get lower and lower and lower. And now my blood pressure is, I wrote it down because, you know, 133 over 75. From 197 over 84 to currently 133 over 75. Normal. My blood pressure is normal. Praise Jah. I am so thankful. When they told me that my blood pressure was normal, I was just happy here 133 over 75 because it had been 197, 180 something, 170 something, 160 something, 140 something. It's 133 over 75. And they said, that's normal. You're in the normal range. I started tearing up. I was so happy. I was so happy. You know what I always say to you, keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't give up. There were so many stumbling blocks and things. The doctors worked very hard to help us. And my doctor was working very hard. She was getting frustrated with me because I couldn't take some of the medicines. And I wasn't being somebody like, doctors don't know anything. They don't know nothing. And uh, big form. No, I'm thankful to doctors. They're intelligent. I'm thankful to pharmacists. They're intelligent. And they have saved my butt so many times. So many times. And they've saved a lot of your butts too. It's just that you have to intelligently use the knowledge and advice of your doctor. Read the precautions and instructions on all your medicines. Be aware of your different things that's going on in your body. And even to a certain extent, your family history. Okay? And I put all that together. And I could have done it without the doctors. And I have normal blood pressure. And there will be a video coming up going more into how I did it. And thank you. Thank you. We're almost at 600 uh, subscribers. You know I'm trying to hit my 1,000 and 2,000 or whatever. But I'm trying to hit that first 1,000. If you think that this video will help somebody, please share it. You might know somebody that needs this information. Share this video. Give me a comment. Like or dislike. Tell me what you think. And thank you. And like I said, upcoming video on the specifics on how I did this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys.